ang Alright, so basically, our objectives for today's lesson, what we want to do by the end of this topic, we want to be able to understand what is meant by drug abuse, discuss the psychological and social economic effects of drug abuse, and we want to know what is a drug also, right? Now, let's move on. Now, can I have a reader? Okay, sir, I'll read. A drug is any chemical substance that affects the functioning of the body. Medicines such as antibiotics and painkillers are drugs that are used to prevent and treat disease. Other drugs such as solvents, illegal substances like heroin and marijuana, alcohol and the nicotine and other chemicals in cigarettes may harm the body. So if we look at this now, right? We're talking about a drug, right? Now, when persons consider something as drug, they might say, okay, it's alcohol. It's um, something that can cause harm to the body. No, medicines are also considered as drugs, right? Now, this is saying a drug is any chemical substance that affects the functioning of the body. Now, Another definition could be a drug is a substance that stimulates a response in the body, which basically affects its function also, right? Now, medicines such as antibiotics, we're talking about um, painkillers, drugs that prevent and treat diseases, these are all considered as different drugs. Now, other drugs such as solvent, illegal substances like heroin and marijuana, alcohol and nicotine, or other chemical cigarettes may found or may harm the body. All right? So it can harm the body, but it can also prevent the body from specific diseases. All right? Let's move on. Now, effects of drugs. Drugs taken as medicines under doctor's order can be of great benefit as they help ill people fight disease and control pain. However, the amount taken and when it is taken is very important or it may cause harm. What do we call that? What do we call the amount of, of, of drug that is being taken or supposed to be taken? Dosage. Dosage. Good. No. For example, if drugs that affect the nervous system are taken under the wrong circumstances, people can become addicted to them. When you are addicted to a drug, you are more and more of the drug, sorry, you want more and more of the drug and you don't care about the harm it does to your body. When drugs are used improperly, we talk about drug abuse. So basically when we talk about drug abuse, we're talking about using the drug and it's not effective or it's harmful to you, but you're continuously using it. Besides harming the body, drug addiction has social and economic effects. Before we even go to the social and economic effects, what do you think a social effect of a drug abuse would cause? Or what do you think social effect means of drug abuse? Hello, well, sir. Yes. So that, I think with one, so for example, like when it's start taking that drugs and so like alcohol and so they can change your behaviors towards others and right right you change your behaviors to your surrounding you change your behavior to others excellent yes, what sir. about economic effects um so like like job work and so okay and also when you talk about the government remember you know when you are taking those drugs and you become abusive of the drug right and these start yes, to now stimulate your side effect. The government have to spend more money in hospital for you, right? Yeah. So this is not benefiting the country economically. Addiction is expensive because it is illegal to obtain most drugs without a doctor's prescription. And the thing is that now, because it is more expensive, persons tend to do a lot of illegal activity to get this money to buy the drug, right? Now, addicts therefore can only buy these drugs they need from the drug dealers who make a lot of money which is illegal so it is not taxed and there is no community benefit the life of the addict is one of ill health and declining self-respect with little regard for family or community values 
unless the addiction is broken down, the life of the addict is normally short. When drugs are injected, there's a further danger of spreading infectious diseases such as hepatitis A and virus such as HIV, which causes AIDS. So therefore, if you abuse certain drugs, right, it can cause a major, major side effect to it. And these side effects can be- You can get AIDS from drugs. What again? says HIV and AIDS. All right. In the terms of HIV you now, right? When you're talking about different drugs that they use to inject in your body, right? When you are basically a recipient of these drugs, right? It doesn't directly causes this, all right? Or spread this, but indirectly it spreads HIV and also AIDS. Because guess what? When you have these drugs and you're abusing the drugs, right? You are not aware of your surrounding. So basically you're affecting your family, you're affecting the community values. If you have a mission to complete or a specific um, goal in terms of your workplace, your behavior is going to change because this drug is now stimulating side effects, right? So this can cause majority of things to happen to you and also your family. It is also going to be affect, um, the government side will also be affected. So we talk about the economic effects and your friends, com community, um, family, that's what we talk about now, the social effects of drug abuse. Now, let's move on to the types of drug and their effects. Now, the type of drug we have, we have depressants, stimulants, and hallucinogens. Now, I'm going to explain the effects and the examples of this now. When we talk about depressants, right, if you are depressed, if you are stressed out, what this does, it slows down the actions of the nervous system. So when you're stressing in you know, your guys, these nerves or these neurons you now are sending impulses to the brain and they can cause anxiety, which can therefore lead to stroke. All right? Stroke is a, is, a, is a disease that is associated with the brain. Anxiety can cause stroke. Stress can cause stroke. So these are depressants. These allow you to you now cool down and say, all right, you know what? I'm not going to think about that. It allows you to think dif about different things. Now these are heroin, we talk about alcohol. If you drink alcohol, you stop thinking about everything in this world, all right? Once you are, let's say, high or drunk. Now, stimulants, as it were suggests, it's basically going to speed up the action of the nervous system. So depressants take it down, stimulants speed it up, right? And we're about to talk about now amphetamines. Now, these are basically compounds that are found in specific um, cigarette smokes. I think you should be learning this compound in chemistry, not sure. Cocaine and crack, ecstasy, ecstasy is a liquor. Caffeine, caffeine is found in um, different drinks, different soft drinks. Nicotine, nicotine is found in tobacco. Nicotine is also found in cigarette smoke and nicotine is the addictive substance found in anything. As its word suggests, nicotine, addictive. Remember that as the word nicotine comes to mind addiction now there are three main components of a cigarette smoke nicotine tar and carbon monoxide the tar contains carcinogen and carcinogen is a substance that causes cancer nicotine is the addictive substance found inside the cigarette and they are increasing the nicotine level so that persons can become more addictive so they can buy the product and the carbon monoxide now when you smoke and you see this gas come out the thing that you blow out that's the carbon monoxide right this carbon monoxide can affect your lungs so if you look at a person who smokes cigarettes very frequently and a person who doesn't you realize that their lungs are black this is because carbon monoxide is a black gas so you'd see something like a gray gas coming out and you, know, you say oh it's, a, it's, it's officially a black gas, all right? If you're collecting a tube and alcohol is being secreted in that tube, you're going to see that it turns black. A black fume would, would, um, would be seen on inside the, the, um, the test tube, all right? Now, this will also affect your lungs and it is going to also affect your heart rate, all right? Now, let's talk about hallucinogens now. These affect the nervous system and produce feelings of false reality. So guess what? Let's say you have a, a family death, right? These drugs, what they do? 
is that they allow you not to think about anything. They say, okay, so that never happened, right? This is just maybe a dream or something like that. And when we talk about cannabis, that is something that you smoke also. No solvents as glue or lighter fuel. Um, they have something on the internet, it's called vape, where they smoke, right? Some of them are very dangerous also, right? Now, some drug addictions arise from the use of prescription drugs, such as sleeping tablets, diet pills, and painkillers. Chronic abuse is the result of high consumption over a long time. Abuse of painkillers, such as aspirin or other headache tablets, can lead to kidney damage, raised blood pressure, anemia, and digestive problems. If the abuse continues, kidney failure likely and the person may die without treatment. Now, if you look at this, right, they're talking about kidney failure here. Now, the kidney, what is the function of the kidney again? Um, is it, is it into the blood or something? Go again? Is it into the blood? I don't remember. All right, so you are not incorrect, you know. But what happened is that the nephrons that are found in the kidney is a part of the process that is called ultra filtration that filters the blood. So you are correct. But the main function of the kidney is basically to allow um, toxic substances, it absorb them and try to break them down. All right? So if you are drinking liquor or too much liquor, this will affect your kidney. All right, the type of food you eat, the lifestyle diseases, these affect kidneys and livers because these are what breaks down those toxic compounds to something that is less toxic. So inside the kidney, you have nephrons and nephrons are a process, well, in a process of the um, ultra filtration that filters the blood. So yes, you are directly correct. All right, let's move on. Drug abuse among young people. Now, the Organization of America States carried, carried out a research into drug and alcohol use among from two, three, and six students. Now, in 2019, they published the findings in a report with the title Cooperative Analysis of, of Student During U, sorry, Drug Used in Caribbean Countries. And we're going to show you a table. Now, if you examine the table, so we can go to the table here. So we are talking about, look at it now, the effects of the drugs and the dangers of the alcoholic abuse here. Then small amounts can be relaxing and create sense of well-being. Now, if we're talking about alcohol, so this is talking about alcohol here, right? Small amounts can be relaxing and create a sense of well-being. I'm not saying that you're not supposed to drink alcohol, but don't drink too much alcohol because alcohol is a form of energy, energy you know, and that also produces carbohydrate, which you need, right? But some persons abuse the drug. Now, the dangers of alcohol abuse now. Slow reactions make it dangerous to drive or handle heavy equipment. In terms of making it dangerous to drive, right? This is affecting your brain. We're not going to go to the brain yet, just as yet, right? The part where you talk about the depressant, we're going to talk about the brain. But the reason why it allows you to have um, a challenge driving is because it affects the part of your brain that controls balance and also controls memory and consciousness. Can somebody please tell me the part of the brain that controls memory and consciousness? Yes, cerebrum. Cerebrum. So these alcoholic no beverage now affect the cerebrum of your brain. Now let's move on to the next one. Alcohol is a depressant, yes. With greater amounts, people lose muscle control and lack coordination. Reaction times are slowed and judgment becomes impaired. Which part of the brain is being affected here? Um, cerebrum, same You sure? Uh, yes, sir. All right, look at it now. Lose muscle control and lack of coordination. What do they mean by lack of coordination? So the cerebellum. Cerebellum, right? The cerebellum has to do with balance. Lack of coordination has to do with balance also. 
reaction times are slowed. If you are balanced, right? And you see something coming, you aren't, aren't you going to move out of the way? If you are seeing a truck coming and you are walking and you realize the truck is over your side, aren't you going to drive out of the way? You have a perfect yes, balance sir. of what you are doing, right? So therefore, if this section now is being affected, then the cerebellum is being affected. Coordination, your judgment is very, very, very slow and impaired. Now, long-term drinking, this is the this is the um the abuse. Right? right, talking about the abuse now. Where we are now. Sorry, yeah. Longer term drinking leads to alcoholism and related family and social problems and possible loss of employment. Now, as I say, possible loss of employment. You don't necessarily have to lose your job. But if this continues, an employer not, not going to want somebody who's an alcoholic working in his organization, his or her organization. No, mood swings and violence are common when people are drunk. We definitely know this. Uh, I saw a video the other day when a junkie man was walking across the road, right? And he walked across the road. And when he reached the section of the road over the other side, to how the man was drunk, the man walked back way over the other side again and just dropped. All right? He doesn't have control over anything at all. Right? Now, drinking during pregnancy can harm the fetus and alcohol can pass through the placenta. Yes, it can. How this is going to affect the fetus now? There's an increased risk of miscarriage, premature birth, and underdeveloped of the fetus. The majority is miscarriage all right because if you're going to drink the liquor when you are pregnant right you are likely to have a miscarriage and the developed of fetus that is kind of rare and when we talk about the premature birth that is rare also but miscarriage that is prominent in most females who drink when they are pregnant so it's not good to drink not good to smoke any at all whereas when you are pregnant and you have um uh, underdeveloped fetus all right now giving up the use of alcohol or other drug is not easy when you have an addiction guys it's not easy to give it up what did i say the addiction is in smoking is that's a substance nicotine nicotine what did i say the three main substance for in cigarette are What did I say? The three main structures are, are what would I say? Substance, substance in in um cigarette. What are they? This is about tar. Tar. Extra hydrogen cannabinol. Go again. Sir, um, nicotine. Yes, and? Sir, no, and the, is this the mono? Yes, what is it? This is simple carbon more car carbon oxide. Carbon monoxide. Yeah, carbon monoxide, yeah. Right, right. Now those are the three main substances that are found in cigarette smoke. Right? Now, as we are reading here, giving up the use of alcohol or other drugs is not easy. People who are trying to give up needs lots of help and support, especially in the first few weeks when they may experience serious withdrawal symptoms as their body reacts to no longer having the addictive substances now when you're addictive to a specific drug right a drug doesn't have to be something that is going to go inside your body also right somebody else could be a drug right now as i said before the drug is basically a substance that can affect the functioning of your body so whatever can affect the function of your body and you can be addicted to it that is also a drug now it is very hard to give up a drug that you are addicted to, right? Because once you start to become addicted to it, now your brain is looking out for it. Your brain and your memory cells in your body remember that drug and say, okay, you can't function without this. There are some man on a construction side, right? If you don't give them rum, they don't work properly, right? You have to give them some rum and give them cigarette and then they're going to start mixing water. If you don't give them any at all, no work that's how it is they are addicted to the job when they are working yes alcohol does provide a level of carbohydrate but abusing the job is not good any at all now 
we are going to go to a question and a answer segment. All right. Let me, before I go to this, I want for the remaining of the class, I want you to complete these questions. I'm going to put on the portal no. Hold on. And these questions are graded. Sir, where are the questions? Yes, I'm going to put it on the portal now. Okay. Let me know if you are seeing the questions. Yes, sir. 